I think the first dungeon we should do is uh, Shadow Fang Keep. Am I right? Oh, Emmy's here. Oh, wow. Emmy's level 40. Oh, McConnell got Shadow Morn. Holy shit. This is going to be a dangerous path, guys. Well met. So how many of you guys Light have blessing. the uh, have the flight path to South Shore? Oh, I don't have the portal to South Shore. Oh, shit. So we have to go all the way through there? For the Alliance. Oh, Jesus. All right. All right. This is hard. Yeah, this is not going to be easy. And you guys got to keep in mind one thing. I'm not going to die. Good players don't get killed. It's not a big deal. I never die. You know why? Cause I'm good. Check my new weapon. Damn, Berrigan's fist. Holy shit, congrats. That's big dick. Attili, are you coming with us or what's the plan? Yeah, is he coming with us? Yeah. Okay. I'm only paying 24. Okay. Well, we'll meet over here and we'll wait for him to catch up with us. You got to keep one thing in mind, though. In a situation where we pull a mob, we need to sit there and kill the mob. Unless we know it's like a clean kite, we have to kill the mob. Again, stand your ground. Never run ahead. Never do any other bullshit like that. If somebody aggros, we, we stay together as a team. Because a level like 35 mob, we can beat a level 35 mob together as a team. But we can't do it whenever people are running away. We're going to commit all the way. If we aggro the entire tower room with 10 Morgan, we roach. Why would we aggro the entire tower room with 10 Morgan? Why would that happen? I'm confused. Just don't do it. Kick him, he's already planning Judgment Day. It's okay. I don't believe in Judgment Day. Fuck him. Now, there are things that could happen. Oh, there's Cody. What up? He got his epic mount. Jesus. Oh my fucking god, bro. He's playing this game all the- Look at all this gear. Titanic legs? Lionheart- He's got the epic mount? Lifestone? Myrmidon signet? Bro, he's not playing the game. He's playing the auction house, man. He playing the Mavon. He playing the trade window. Bro, that character's worth like 4k. Holy shit. Hell All right. Uh, I guess I'll oh, probably do that eventually. I might as well. Let's wait for everybody to catch up here. Uh, Attili, uh, what do you want to do? You want to like meet up with us now or what? Pay to win? I mean, that's just how it is. Roaches pay, I win. We actually, um, I want to say that we will be doing a guild recruitment drive in the next day or two to make sure that our guild is full of players. And also, I plan on raiding very soon, okay? So, we have a lot of people that are hitting 60 in my guild, and uh, Roach Out is going to raid very soon. We're going to be raiding Scarlet Monastery. I gave Don John 180 gold, and I thought he would give it to you. He's a full goblin. Yeah, guys, I want to make sure you guys understand. If you give Cody money, that money will never reach me. Like, I will never get that money. Yeah, see? And so, this is just how things go. Soon 24, yeah. All the 10,000 gold, that's right. Yeah, this is, uh, this is just what happens. So you're heading over? Okay, cool. Are you 23? How close are you to 24? 
Okay, thanks. Okay, all right, besides this 200 gold. Yeah, besides this, thank you, Cody. Thank you. Your two bars? Okay, you'll hit it right there. That's no big deal. Oh, actually, since I'm 25, I have, I have execute now, right? Oh, why didn't I get trained execute? That's whatever. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck happened. Hearth back, grab flight point. Yeah, I mean, if we had a warlock, I would. I just don't want to waste a lot of time. Wait, this is the guy that paid 34 times to get people kicked out of the guild? This is him. Holy fuck. Oh my god. This guy's he's a real one. Bro, he's got he does so much PvP, he's PvPing people out of the guild. Oh my god. The snip lord, yeah, I know. Oh, bro, you need a tabard. Make sure you get your tabard on, man. Everybody needs the tabard. Uh, even Serata doesn't have tabard on, too. Drogear doesn't have tabard. Guys, we really gotta... Serata, Cicada, can you, um, can you res me? Or not res, can you summon me, uh, to, uh, back to here? So I can go get training? Yeah? Okay, thanks. Yeah, can, can you invite him real quick? Bring some tabards? Yeah, yeah, I'll buy like four tabards. We're just gonna get something real quick, okay guys? You want to with no tabards? Yeah, it just makes us look bad. Greetings. Okay, tabard vendor. Okay, I bought Go four of them. Honor. That should be enough. My few tabards? Yeah, I got it. Zoom out. I don't need to right now. Uh, I like actually being playing zoomed in more because I think it creates more of like a... Uh, I think it looks better on camera, I guess. Maybe that sounds stupid, but like that's what I think. And so that that's why I do it. It's the immersion, right? But um, obviously whenever I'm playing something that's important, I'm not going to be doing that. Not for me, for only a viewer. Uh, oh, why am I not affiliate? I, I will eventually, guys. Uh, I, I will eventually probably, like, maybe get the, the channel partnered. I just don't know. What can I do for you? Oh, Safe I probably travels. should go do that, too. I'll do that for stockades. Okay. Epic music. Yeah, I mean, this is the, uh, this is the game, man. This is what the game's all about. Have you guys liked watching the dungeons? Because I feel like the dungeon that I'm really looking forward to doing is Nomergon. Because that Life one's hard. You. Heroic Strike. Execute. Revenge. Be careful. Damn. Let me put that on. Okay. All right, can I get a summon back, please? Dungeons, yeah. Revenge is so ass. Well, it's really great for threat. SM Cathedral is another good one. Uh, no, I think that one's too easy. Like, here are the dungeons I really am looking forward to doing. Nomergon, Sunken Temple, BRD, Lower Black Rock Spire. Um, there's one more, I'm not thinking of it. Oldman and Maradon. I think I said Maradon. Let me make sure that I have the, uh, what do you call it? I, I have like a potion. Let me just check real quick. Nah, fuck it. Who cares? Let's go. All right, boys. We have execute. We're ready. 125 damage. That's a lot. You guys ready? Oh, we gotta get somebody else on back.
Okay. Oh, white gray. Soul of iron. All right. Uh, boy. Let's go, guys. Man, I got I, I I'm I'm worried going into this dungeon like I don't have full world buffs, guys. I feel like I'm like naked basically. Oh, the Tabards. I forgot the Tabards. Okay. Um, who doesn't have one? Is this guy OG invite him? Oh fuck, where'd these guys go? I think they left. Nah, it's too bad. I'll give him out later. Does this guy have a Tabard? He doesn't. Okay, we'll give one to him. There you go, loser. Alright, let's go, guys. We've got to be very careful here. Is this the Kata? No, this is not Kata. You can tell it's not Kata. Because there's people out in the world. I have to say, though, um... Like... I'm excited, kind of, for Cataclysm, but, like, not really. Like, I'll play it, and it'll be enjoyable, but I don't think it's gonna, like... It's not gonna, like, change my life, you know what I mean? Okay, let's make sure to go over on the, uh, on the right side here. Is there any quests you can pick up on the way? No, not really. SFK is a... It's a horde dungeon. Yeah, these cocksuckers over here are high level. And we don't want to fuck with them. See that? Level 27 elites, guys. That is no joke. 28 elite. What's up to you, right? No, I'm good. I'm chilling. We'll, uh, we'll wait, wait for everybody to catch up once we get over to the other side. Since Arathi Highlands is a higher level area and we have to be a little bit careful. What changes do you want for Cataclysm? No LFR. Just don't have LFR. That's it. That's all I want. Uh, other than that, I don't really care about anything else. Oh, and change some of the guild perks. Okay. Let's wait for everybody to catch up. Deadass. Rogear. Attili. Attili's almost here, too. Great. Alright, let's go, guys. Remember, this is a higher level zone, so if we aggro a mob... Listen... If we aggro a mob, we need to be ready to kill it. LFR kills the world. Uh, I also don't think they should have changed the uh, the world. Like, the original vanilla world was really good. Ooh, okay. All right. Yo, yo, yo. Start paying attention. Start paying attention, guys. And we will get the flight path, too, on the way over here. Now, the only thing that can happen that could be a potential, uh, one right there. That one's only level 33. Uh, is that somebody could bring the level 42 elite near us, and it could re-aggro to us. Uh, the, the stone giant. So, if you see the stone giant, immediately run the opposite direction. Or just run away without running into the other mobs. That's the only thing bad that can happen on this. Uh, and he's neutral. Yeah, but if somebody aggros him to try to grief us. Like, you have to always be uh, be prepared. This way. Good. 
There's a pack of undeads that, that roam. Yeah, that's true too. Yeah, this is where the patrol is going to be. This is refugee point. We have to get over there. It also can be in Halesbrad. Yeah, it's all right. Let's just get this flight path right now. Do you ever keep up with the Race to World First? Um, my favorite thing about Race to World First is whenever there's drama. The worst thing about Race to World First is whenever people aren't having drama. Like, I'm a drama enjoyer. How are you? Okay. Safe travels. Go ahead and get that whenever we're ready. All right, I guess Drew here already has it. Uh, how they managed such art 20 years ago? Um, because art style is more important than fidelity. All right, so listen up. If we see the patrol, we turn around. We gotta go around this raptor, okay? This is a danger raptor. Go around him. Go around him. Good job. Now, we don't want to go in there. This guy's just fighting him, doesn't matter. He's just chilling. There could be a patrol of five level 36s. If that patrol is here, we need to kill them. Now, the odds are it won't be here because the patrol starts over at a farm that's usually heavily AoE farmed, but it can happen. Pretty much all Race to World first streams are embedded, Sag. Oh, well, I mean, I think a lot of people like watching Race to World first anyway. Um, I do think, like, some of the excitement around it has gone away, because, like, raiding in general has kind of... What's the word for it? It's kind of eroded. Ooh, 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 what's this? Oh, no, no, we're good. These are the good guys. You can tell they're good guys because they're not orcs. Lost its luster? Well, no, it, it, the reason why, it's because people aren't raiding. So the people that watch Race to World First are primarily people that raid. Because they're the ones who appreciate the content. So if you have people that aren't raiding, then you're going to have a big issue. Now, I also want to say there's one more risk that we can have. Is in Hillsbrad Foothills, there are sometimes stealth level 38 elites, or level 38s. So we need to be aware of them too. And that's why we just need to keep the group together and make sure that doesn't, uh, that they don't spawn. Move around. Don't aggro his ass. Don't aggro. Good job. There's just too much shit in retail rating. Yeah. of being low alone. Yeah, I know. You should be afraid. Alright, let's go ahead and wait right here. Let's get everybody caught up. It's not really a race anymore. It's two people that are competing who can do the most splits and spend more money on gold for BOEs. Um, I think that realistically, that's always been the case. Because if you're in the race to world first... Like, you just have, so, if you're in Limit or, uh, or Liquid, I mean, and, uh, an Echo, like, you just have access to so many resources and so much resource that nobody else has unless they're part of one of those big guilds. Ooh, that's a cocksucker on the right. That's only level 24, it doesn't really matter. 
How am I so damn fast? I have movement speed on my boots, that's why. Were they heavily RMT? Well, yeah. What I'm saying is that, like, most people can't just randomly take off potentially, like, eight days or nine days around, like, a raiding schedule. Like, that's kind of a, uh, it's a, it's an uncommon thing. So you need to have, like, some sort of a way to, like, fund that or to have a lifestyle that supports that. You look at the uh, dev hour about SOD. I don't know. There's like 50 things people want me to look at. I'll do what I do. Last race, they fucking spent 150k euros for gold for BOEs. What the fuck are you guys talking about? Who besides the two guilds can compete? True. True, true, true. So how do you have done this? Yeah. AKA race world first or leeches that ruined the fucking game. I don't think Race to World first ruins the game. I think Blizzard ruins the game. How, how can it be Race to World first? Like, I don't care if they RMT or buy gold or do anything, right? I don't give a fuck when they kill the boss. Like... The only thing that I care about is being able to play the game. Lumai snipped six more? Wait, all these people that Cody just kicked out of the guild, this guy paid to have them removed? Look. Six roaches have been purged. Yeah, we're gonna get the flight path, don't worry. Yeah, he- the, the guy in our guild just paid to have these guys kicked out of the guild. That's just the way it is. Maybe you should raise the price? No, it's okay. Pay rent roaches, yeah, true. Let's get over here, we're gonna make sure that we get this flight path. Oh, do you have decurse yet? I think Lloyd does have decurse. He should have decurse at this level. That's really stupid. No, no, it's not stupid because all they have to do to avoid that uh, is they just have to spend uh, five gold to donate it to the officers to avoid getting kicked out of the guild. Because you can donate gold. Uh, basically, like we have a system where you can pay gold to have people kicked out of the guild. And you can also pay gold for guild kick protection. You see what I'm saying? What? No, no, this is how it works, right? And we have it... Uh, this is the info, right? And so, uh... Let's make sure everybody's over here. Meet up with me whenever you guys are ready. Uh, so you pay five gold to get promoted, right? And yeah, go promote this guy if he's not promoted. Don't, don't do it to me, because like, I'm not really paying attention. Uh, I guess I'll, I'll do it for this guy since I'm here. So, oh, he already paid. Okay, so that's fine. So, like, basically you can't kick a rat out of the guild, but cockroaches, you can pay gold to have them removed from the guild. So, like, the way it works is that if somebody is, like, a cockroach and you don't like them, you can pay an officer and the officer will kick them out of the guild. Not bad? Yeah, this is the way the system works. And then also, you can pay gold uh, to be promoted in the guild. And if you're promoted in the guild, then you won't get kicked out. And you can also pay gold to get promoted to higher ranks, too. It's not like it's just one rank. Can you say, can you pay more gold to kick someone who paid to stay? Uh, no, we don't really have a system for that right now. I think that'd be too overpowered. I, I feel like that would be kind of unethical. What if I pay a ton of gold? Can I still kick someone who paid to stay? We do? Oh, we do that? Oh, well, never mind then. Okay, yeah, we do. We actually, we will do that. Cody has a system. <laughs> there it is. Okay, so yeah, um, anyway, yeah, in our guild, uh, we just make up the rules as we go. Everything's a total scam, and that's it. Yeah, and so if anybody wants to join, just let me know. Gave you the difference for Rat Lord. Oh, this guy did give me the gold. Should I promote him again? Yeah, can we promote this Vico Track guy? 
Because, like, if you're trading me the gold for promotions, I'm not paying attention to that. This is something, like, basically... So, you have to look at it at, like, a macro level, right? Is that the reason why I do this is because it gives my officers a way to make money. Which incentivizes my officers to run the guild in a very effective way. And to make the guild as popular and big as possible. Because that's going to create the most outcomes of gold for them. So, I've created a scenario where they're paid for doing something like that. Okay, we're good. I just want to make sure everybody's together. Yeah. So that way, like, they're getting paid a percentage, basically, of the success of the guild. So it's all about you at the end? Absolutely, it's all about me. This guild exists purely for content. This is it, yeah. That's exactly right. Like, what did you think this was? Yeah, that's... You're 100% right. How do people become officers? I just promote friends of mine. And just, I randomly just decide who's going to be an officer and who's not. Uh, there's not really, like, much of a system to it or anything like that. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's just nepotism, basically. Oh, go this way, go this way. Go this way. Oops. All right, good. I don't think these aggro. It doesn't matter. We're not going to take any risks. Ooh. Here we go, boys. Is this guild going to be carried over to SOD? Yeah, but in SOD, we're going to have more of a ethical guild. Yeah, we will have a more ethical guild. That's just how it is. It's less of a dictatorship and more of an oligarchy. Well, I, I think, well, no, no, yeah, we, we had a combo about this. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'll do a post about it. Yeah, until he's going to do a post, and that way you guys will know what's going on. I'm a little bit scared, man. Going in here as Alliance. I remember, like, there were these, like, elites that were, like, level 20 or something here called, like, Sons of Argyle. And they killed me on my first character I ever made. Does more ethics just mean the price will increase? No, no, no. I mean, like, we won't uh, promote people based off of money. Uh, we probably won't do that. But we might. I mean, like, I don't want to rule it out. It's just that that isn't what the current plan is. That's all. Like, there's actually a really good chance that we might still just promote people for, for money. But... I just haven't decided yet. So look at that cocksucker there. That's another cocksucker right there. A lot of cocksuckers over there. A lot of cocksuckers. This is it, isn't it? Oh, maybe it's not. Uh, it is? There he is, son of Argyll. Oh, shit. Yeah, this is it. Ooh. Alrighty, guys. Arden, can you give us buffs? Yeah, give us, like, kings or some shit. I've never been here in retail. His buffs only last five minutes. Oh, wow. Alrighty. Ooh, another group right here, too. Unless he has big kings. He probably doesn't. I'll wait right here. All right, guys. Let's go. Good luck, fellas. Thank you. You are too low to give big buffs. It's fine. All right. 
Gentlemen, this area is a real cock. I'm talking about a serious one, a big one. I want to have everybody fresh here, ready to go, prepared. I'm going to go ahead and use my Rumsy Rum. Get my defense up. Get my ogre strength. Rare is up. All right, guys. Attili, it's on you. Pulling in there. Okay. Some of these earlier mobs should be pretty easy. Make sure that we have a dispel on this, okay? Let's go. These are just a couple of mobs. It's not a big deal. Yeah, these are easy pulls. We're we farming gray mobs. They're not gray. Uh, they only show up as gray because I'm drunk. In game, obviously. Oh, we pulled the top mobs. Yeah, you'll see whenever, uh, whenever we get through this. Good job, guys. This isn't easy, okay? Okay, pull these, uh, pull these back up to us. Experience. Yeah, these first mobs are pretty low, so we're not going to get experience from every single one of them, but uh, we will get more after we kill a couple of them. The thing is with, like, Classic WoW is that Classic WoW just made bosses harder by making them higher level, which is, like, a really cheesy way of making things hard. Can you get it? Fuck. Okay, kill the other ads until we get the boss. You get this guy. Got him. Try to cleanse that if you can. Good job, guys. Go down and kill this guy. We don't want to open that other guy out because he's probably horde flag. Yeah, we don't want to kill him. Need help? All right, let's go this way. Almost at the Petri. Yeah, I know. This game's rough, man. Have I died yet? No. Drogir, give us uh, might again. Drogir. Pull him up to us. I can't? Okay. Oh, oh, because you can't. I understand. I get it. No, no, he was right. There we go, there we go. Get these guys one at a time. This is a reflection for spells. Yeah, just wand them down. Yeah, clear these guys on this side. Got him. 
It's not reflect, but immune? Really? I didn't know that. It's only immune? No murders reflect? Okay. Thanks. Ooh, big dick. Don't aggro that guy. That horde guy. I got it. I got it. It's rooting. Got him. That was big damage right there. Good job. This vest? Oh, it's huge. Chest? What chest? What do you mean? What do you mean? What chest? For you. All right. Um. Just kill these guys one at a time, one or two at a time. Should be no big deal. The loot vacuum? No. I was just looting it so I could have it. You know, like that's all. I, I was gonna share. I don't think we really need to pull the uh, the horses. Yeah, the horses, if I remember right, do a lot of damage. Okay. They chain CC? Yeah, let's just not pull them. We don't need to. They're passive anyway. Or neutral, I mean. Yeah, let's go through here. Ooh, big dick. You guys see that? I feel like this isn't really going that bad. But like the mob the mob levels are getting getting higher pretty fast. So this could be problematic. Ooh. You got it, bro. You got it. Nice. Good pull, man. Good pull. I've died in here. Oh, I don't die. Ring height. We'll see what happens. Ooh, congrats. Eight stam. Wow. That's a tanking cloth, uh, cloth robe. Oh, that's really good. Okay. Now we're gonna be fighting the harder mobs. Big cloth tank? Oh yeah. I'm gonna be honest, like this is uh This room here could go bad, but it's really like the next area that I'm kind of worried about. Oh my god, that's a lot of mobs. That is a lot of mobs. Good luck, bozos. What do you mean? Like, there is no dungeon I'm afraid of. Actually, that's not true. The only dungeon I'm afraid of is Undead Strat. And the reason why is because I think that I could get MC'd by the first boss, and then people would kill me because they thought it would be funny. Like, that's the only thing I'm afraid of in this entire game. Everything else besides that, I'm not afraid of. Curse? Yeah, make sure to dispel that. Get that cock ass. Yeah, there you go. Last boss here, MCs? Yeah. We're just gonna sheep or, uh... Probably just root them, actually. Good job. I'm actually so excited to do the higher level dungeons where I see everybody else die. I, 
I'm kind of worried though. Like, if I die in this game, I'm gonna get like so much shit. I'm kind of afraid. You know, yeah, it's like, because I just, I've talked such mad shit, like, constantly, that I feel like I, I would deserve it, too. Ooh, a main hand. Maybe that's an Attili item? Let's go up this way. Uh, let's pull both of these. Yeah, there we go. We got them. Care? Chill out. We're good. Trust me, like you guys think I would, I, I would, I would die. It's not gonna happen. Does anybody have any of the easy throw dynamite? By the way. Next room is dangerous. It's fine. Dick him down one at a time. Be at range. Stay here. I got you. I got you. We're good. I'll pull in. That's fine. You got it. Three. Three. so far, boys. You guys are doing great. This, this game's not easy. Like... Huge damage. Look at that. 186. I'm a fucking god. Over oh, the right wall. I see. Okay, Attili, you can go ahead and get aggro on the commander. I'll fight the mobs first. We'll kill that one first. Charge in whenever you're ready. Kill this one first. That's one of them. Dick down. Oh. You don't even need to worry about aggro on him. Easy enough. Easiest game of my fucking life. Can we interrupt that? Nice. Damn. God damn. Who did 500 damage? me, guys. I was the one that did a lot of damage. Ooh. Okay. Remember, you can fall off this, so just chill. There's an elite here, right? Or a rare? Could spawn? I don't remember. Ah. 640? It didn't even show that much, but yeah. That's why I just save all my rage for an execute. I feel like that's the best way to play the class right now. we get one of these. Nice. You guys are doing really well, by the way. Like, nobody's doing anything stupid. This is great. Master Wood. If anybody wants that sword or uh, potions, let me know. Kill the bat? Yeah. Just pull back, if you want. We should fight most in this room. 
Ooh. Ooh, that's a boss. Oh, we aggroed him. Let's go. Uh, kill the bats first. Nice, congrats. I'm gonna be honest. Did I pull that or are they linked? Because I'm worried I almost might. I, did I fuck up there? They're linked? Okay, good. I was, like, really afraid that I might have made a mistake there. You say a sword dropped? Yeah, dead. I'm gonna go ahead and just, uh, trade it to you. Ooh. Oh, this is the elite in the elite. Ooh, we got ourselves a rare, boys. Let's go. This is a big loot situation right here. Big loot situation. What the fuck is that? That's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Is this the room? Yeah, this is the room that can fuck us. So... Um... Okay. Well... If we aggro more than six, we run. If we aggro less than six, we fight. Okay? Just as a benchmark. So six or less, we fight. More than that, we, uh, we run. Slow, we are. Run, 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 everybody, run, 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 run out, run out, run over this, and then run out. Run over to here. Go, go, go. Go. I was wondering, what? Can you do the pull on the wolf? Uh, do you have any ammo? Because, like, I don't have any ammo. Like, I, I have a gun, but I don't have ammo for the gun. You aggro it above? Arrows? No, I don't have arrows. Alright, let me go in first. Let me go in first, because if I die, I can just mob tag and get leveled up again. Give me a second. It seems as though we're okay. I'm gonna wait for you guys to catch up.
check if you can eat. I can already tell that I'm not in combat because charge is lit up and also my character level was visible without the uh, swords there. If you think I, I have played this game before. Did you catch it or did we run on my call? I caught it instantly. Like, I, I knew what I was waiting to look for. Like, it's not hard. Like, as soon as I saw that dog up there run, I was like, fuck, let's run away. Right here. Mops. I didn't know there was a patrol here. We're fine. Just, uh, just kill them. There isn't? Really? So we just didn't clear this? Oh, wow. I didn't know that. See, I never have done this dungeon that much, so I'm not really familiar with a lot of this. This fall when you kill the commander? Oh, now we're getting two different bits of information. Alright, hopefully we'll be able to do it right. Okay, um... So this time, I will do the pull. And everybody else can wait outside the room. Like, wait here, I will do the pull myself. And nobody has any ammunition, right? Actually, Loy, why don't you do the poll? Will, yeah, yeah, Loy, why don't you do the poll? Since you're 25 and you can do a ranged attack. Everybody else, wait, wait back here. Wait back here. You're gonna aggro that one. Attila, you shouldn't be there. It's fine, it's too much. this pat down. Remember, if we aggro more than six, we run. Got his ass. job. Ooh. Uh, we got a dodge ring in here. Somebody wants to loot that, go ahead. Yeah, go for it, Dad. That's you. Ooh, a miss. There's 
only four mobs here. This is fine. Just kill them. We're not afraid of four mobs. Realistically, I think this group can handle about seven mobs. So six is like kind of being conservative, right? Nice. Okay. That's one hard room out of the way. Man, just a rage makes with hot. Yeah, I mean, this is just, um... I feel like this has gone really well. Like, uh, I'm gonna be real. Like, I'm pretty happy with how things have gone. Like, what do you guys think? Has this run been smooth? I feel like it's been really smooth so far. Ooh, it's Y-hander. That's a two-hander, it's 17 damage. Oh, it's still not better than mine. There it is. Ooh, big dog. Big dog. BFD has a big sword for you? Yeah, I'd probably just go get something. All right. Strike of the Hydra. Oh, that is kind of a... That's a big boy, isn't it? Yeah. All right, let's uh, get ready. Wait, BFD. Wait, it requires level 26, though. I thought BFD was lower than this. Move in. Move in. Let's go. BFD is 22 to 28. Really? Wow. Nice. Big dick. Who dares interfere with the sons of Aragal? Okay, and we'll go ahead and we'll get one more enrage. Who's this dick sucker? What the hell he doing? What the hell he doing? What are you doing over here? I forgot even all about this. Let's go. You have the book quest? No. You want the shoulders? Yeah. That's a big, uh, uh, I think that's big loot for casters, I'm pretty sure. Nice. We shouldn't have to run out again. We want to see details damage? Uh, yeah, I probably could turn that on, but right now I don't think we really need to have that. I think that we're fine the way it is. Ooh. Nando's. Yeah, that's a lot of mobs. Ooh, big damage. Oh, shit. There he is. Got him. All right, so, um... We'll talk about this just for a minute for the boss. Uh, he's a big boy, isn't he? Oh, shit! Damn! Are there mobs down here? Yeah. Okay, so... Loy, after we pull this, just make sure you get full mana and get ready to move in and uh, and root anybody who gets MC'd. In the instance that Loy gets MC'd, I will fear him. 
in the instance that Roy gets CC'd again, or MC'd again, Attili will fear him. You guys understand? I think there's two of those down there, right? No, there's three. I don't have fear? Okay, I do. Then I'll do it. Shall serve. Remember, root, root whoever gets him seed, and Loy, if you get him seed, I'll fear you. Release your rage. Oh, he's up there. Nice. Good job, boys. Holy shit. Holy shit, bro. We actually, uh, I, I went under half, bro. I got scared there for a minute. Honestly, I did. Like, I, I was worried some, some bad shit was about to happen. Like, am I crazy? Like, that's... Yeah, that was one hit, yeah. He hits hard. Shadow Bolt for 550? No, nah, it wasn't 550, it was, uh... Uh, 260. There's no 550 Shadow Bolt. Yeah, look. Nah, that's not what happened. So now we do stockades. Stockades is going to be a lot harder. All right, socks is easy. Four minutes on Hearthstone. Okay. Stockades is easy? I don't think so. Like... Yeah, I, I really don't think so. No dungeon quest to deliver? The poles are, are scary in stocks? Yeah, exactly. Leave group, just ghetto hearth? Okay, yeah, I guess we'll just... I'll, I'll give it a second. I'll just wait three minutes. Not with you. Hardest dungeon in the game, just don't fuck up. Easier said than done. I mean, to be fair, I feel like we did pretty well there. Like, I, I feel like, yeah, like, because I insta-feared the guy that got MC'd. I took aggro. I don't know if I really should have gone defensive, like defensive, defensive, but. Uh, he sure quest for stockades. Yeah, let me do it right now. Okay. And we got one mo again. All right, and then there's a red ridge and duskwood. We could go and get the quests if you want. Do you guys want to go get the quests? Oh, there we go. Great. Okay, so we got that one. I think there's one more in, uh, in Duskwood, right? I 
Oh, nice. All right, we've got all three of them, or all five of them. Oh, this is gonna be massive. I've got five quests for stockades. This is huge. We'll see how this goes. After stockades, I think Razorfin Crawl is the next one, right? What level is Razorfin Crawl? BFD? You guys really want us to do BFD, huh? Damn, you guys really want that. Fuck. Okay. Well, maybe after stockades we can do BFD. How does that sound? BFD is easy, too? I don't think so, man. RFK into Nomergon? Yeah, I, I think RFK is a higher level than Nomergon. Like, I remember RFK being a higher level. If we do BFD, we get some decent experience. Yeah, true. About to ding. There you go. I think if we are going to do BFD, we just go, uh, we go from, like, Darnassus. Maybe just get a port over to Darnassus. That should make it easier. RFK's lower. It's one of the worst dungeons in Classic. Yeah, I remember it used to be a cock. Both stocks and BFD have five quests each. RFK highest quest is the highest bomb is 33. Well, isn't, uh, the last boss in Nomergon 35? I think he is, right? He's 34. Okay. All right. Well, we'll go ahead and... I think we should just do stockades now. Let's do that now and then maybe do BFD after if nobody dies. Let me go get my training, though. I just got 26. Want me to have a Warlock par Park for BFD? Yeah, I mean, if we could just get a summon over there, that'd make it a lot easier. But we'd still need to pick up the quests, unless the quests are right there at the dungeon. I never do that dungeon, so I have no idea. I'm not even doing Nomergon until 32. Uh, I would be willing to do Nomergon at 31, but I don't want to do it anywhere below that. It just seems like... The, the problem is that the way that, like, combat tables work in this game is that if you're lower level than the NPC that you're fighting, you just do way less damage. Like, that's just straight up the way the game is. So, I don't want to put myself in a position where I'm just doing shit damage. Yeah, glancing blows. Yeah, last boss should be yellow. I feel like Nomergon's such a large instance that the last boss will be yellow. Because, like, by that time, I'll have gained an entire level. Okay. King's honor, friend. Ooh, charge, mocking blow, challenging shout. That's good. Go honor, friend. Those are actually really good items, or really good things to have. Okay, and challenging shout. Go ahead and put that right over there. I very rarely need to use that. And then after this, we're going to go inside of stockades. Why am I not playing my warlock? Oh, yeah, I should get ammo, right? Um... Where can I get ammo? Yeah, can somebody just trade me gun ammo? I'm in Stormwind. Here? Okay, yeah, I'll just go over that way. I got it. Easy. Buy a PvP trinket, it's 20 gold. Yeah, I probably should. Uh, how do you even get a PvP trinket? I'm not even sure how that works. Okay, maybe it's this guy? Hey there. Yeah, here it is. Oh no, this is only arrows. Have a good something one. specific. See you around. Hmm. Oh, okay, I got some. Thanks. Oh, 10 gold, thanks. And magic, wow, thanks. For sure. Thank you very much.
There's a vendor. Uh, yeah, I guess I can go get the insignia. Why not? Stockade riots. Uh, yeah, I think everybody should have that. Yeah, I'll go pick it up right now. Install bag on? Ah, oh, that's not a big deal. I'm good. I'm chilling. What does B BFD stand for? Big fucking dungeon. But I think actually it's really not going to be that hard. Especially if we can just get summoned over there, which would be really nice. Why not mob tag to 40? Because I already did that, and I think that it would be more entertaining Hello. to watch Farewell. Uh, dungeon gameplay. That's the reason why. That's the only reason. Like, so... He's low for the dungeon. Okay, until he's 24. So he'll be red level. Like, Basil will be red level for him. Okay, that should be fine. That's only one mob. Alright, let's go ahead and make our way into the dungeon now. It's fine. Yeah, it should be okay. You want me to tank him, Drogir? I'll be fine. If I die, I die. Okay. Well, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do dual wield on, like, the first few pulls. That way I can get my sword skill up. And then whenever we get up to the last boss... Uh, I'll, I'll just tank it, probably. Yeah, that way it's just, like, easier. There's no problems. I just think that's smarter. Okay, and... I think we're good. Gentlemen... This is the hardest dungeon that we've done so far. This is the first dungeon that we're going into where we don't just completely out-level the entire thing. So, I need everybody to stay, like, on their A game. This is no joke. The stockades is not easy. It's probably one of the hardest dungeons that's ever been made. I mean, at least. At least one of the hardest dungeons ever made. If not the hardest dungeon ever made. I probably should get dual wield specialization. What do you guys think? Should I just go... I don't know, like, if dual wield's gonna be any good. Ah, who cares? It doesn't matter. Everybody's here. Uh, just go ahead and pull whenever you're ready, okay? Dual wield is Biss. Yeah, I just don't know if it's Biss this low level. I'm going to miss a lot of my attacks because I don't have uh, sword skill leveled up. And that's why I'm leveling it up now. So by the time that we get to the uh, the end of the dungeon, I'm going to have uh, I'm going to have it enough to where I can take aggro on the boss. I know this is not an ideal situation, but it is what it is. Do you have weapon swap macro? I just clicked the button. It's not a big deal. Kill off the quest? Yeah. Easy enough. I think that for these rooms, it actually will be better for us to just go into the room and fight them inside of the room. 
rather than uh, trying to kite them out. Because that way they don't run away as easily, and we also have like a large open space that we can fight them in. That's just like my opinion. I could be wrong. Big dick. Yeah, some of these don't even aggro. Oh, Loy, yeah, true. Um, Loy, can you give me a uh, uh, fucking intellect so I can level my weapons faster? Like, actually? What do I need to level up to? Smart, yeah, somebody just actually messaged me that. Skills. Uh, so I need to get up to 135, and I'm at 105. Pull this guy. There we go. Fuck him. Yeah, I think dual wield's doing more damage already. But it's also because my other weapon sucked a big dick. More fiery crocs? Yeah. And also, like, this weapon that I just equipped does a lot of damage. It'd be nice if I could get a better offhand, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah, as soon as I get these leveled up, I'm gonna be a god. I'm actually kind of curious how much damage I'm doing with this gear. Whirlwind Dax at 30. Ooh, yeah, you're right. I guess I could try to get the Whirlwind Axe. The fuck you have? Wait, what do I have? The 150 gold weapon? Oh, I don't know what I have. Uh, just... I guess probably just kill the other ads first. Let him get aggro. Yeah, do I? I? I don't know. Somebody just gave it to me. Nice. Good fucking job, guys. Make sure to loot the head. You need level 30 for Whirlwind Axe? Yeah, but, like, I I'm curious, like, should I even try to go and get it? That's what I'm not sure about. Like, is it worth me going and getting the Whirlwind Axe if I'm going to be playing dual wield anyway? Yes. I think people... I think the truth is, people want to see me get the Whirlwind Axe. Like, regardless of whether it's, like, a good thing or not, people probably want to see me get it. We can do it together? Okay. Whirlwind Axe is huge. Yeah, it is. It's iconic, yeah. I think you're right. Do RFK? I think that, like... Like, I'm actually kind of afraid of this last boss here. Uh, because it can fear you. But I think if we just play the right way, it won't be a problem. Just go down this one. Oh, that's right. I never would have this. It's okay. There's only two mobs. Mobs suck to the stuns. Yeah, but I have, like, the PvP trinket, so it shouldn't be as big of a deal. I have a Lionheart Helm, too. It's waiting for me for, like, level, uh, level 56 if I get there. Not sure if that's gonna happen or not, but we'll find out. Yeah, it's big dick. Uh oh. This fucking disarm is so annoying. I'm at 122 weapon skill, and I'm already doing a lot of damage. Yeah, 
was killing it. Every room. Yeah, because we need to make sure we get the bandanas anyway, so it, it actually just makes it a lot easier for us. I think Blizzard was overcooking. Uh, no, I mean, like, I think that, honestly, this dungeon's fine. Like, this dungeon is a very, uh... I think this dungeon... It's like a retail WoW dungeon, right? Where, like, there's, like, a certain amount of trash mobs, and they're, like, kind of... It's, like, very uniform, because it's, like, obviously a jail. So I think, like, the problem with, like, new dungeons nowadays is that they're not experimental at all, and they're not unique in any way. Um, let me go ahead and pull this one, okay? Let me pull, let me pull. Okay. Just a minute. I felt like, um, you know, like that whole situation was just not good. Because he was going to go in the middle and he was going to aggro maybe two of them because these are higher level mobs. I think new design philosophy. Yeah, I mean, I don't really... It's not like I hate it, right? It's just that it's not the kind of content that I would really want to spend a lot of time for. Did you see the new SOD boot post? No, I haven't. Uh, I'll have to look at that. Procedural dungeons? Uh, no, I, I don't want to see them do procedural dungeons, honestly. Uh, let's let Drogir get mana after this. Final Fantasy dungeons? Well, Final Fantasy dungeons are meant to be more of a spectacle as well. Okay, let him get mana. Oh, uh, we can probably kill this one guy, Loy, if you want to start fighting him. Actually, no, you're just going to drink. That's fine. Procedural lacks character. Well, it's also that, like, there's nothing that's, like, really that special about it, right? Until you don't go in this room. Yeah, yeah, don't go in the room, man. Ooh, big dick. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pull some of this. Should we do the other side first? Because we can turn around and do the other side right now. Because like my weapon skill isn't really like that high yet. We might as well do this. Yeah, it's kind of what I think too. Okay, let me just pull everything myself. Just get this. I'm gonna pull the next one. Clicker? Yeah, I know. I need to have a better button for it. I just don't have one right now. Hold up. Oh, wait, wait, guys, guys. I said don't go in this room. I said guys, don't go in this room. That means don't go in the room. start pulling these to you guys one at a time. Ah. Everything is going really well. I'm very proud of you guys. You're doing amazing. One by one. 
Well, it's because this guy has a fear, and so we have to pull these guys individually. Uh, I'll just pull a set of three. Just be aware for that. No risks. Well, like, mistakes will happen on their own. Like, I don't really need to worry about, like, uh, taking risks or anything like that, because, like, risks will take me. Like, that, that's just gonna happen on its own. So I, I don't need to worry at all. Okay, this guy I think is only 27, right? Oh, he's only 26. Attila, you can pull this one. Let me actually, uh, you can fight this guy. Kill the non-elites, or sorry, kill the non-boss mobs first, and then we'll kill the boss. Oh, I just pulled him by himself. Holy shit. Okay, I didn't expect that. Wow. Well, that makes it really easy. Okay, I'm gonna pull him now. Probably shouldn't be tanking him here because he can fear all of us, but it's whatever. Got him. Nice fucking job, boys. Nice fucking job. Come in here. Kill these. There it is. Best puller alive. That's just the way it is. I mean, I try to be careful, right? Because, like, the thing is, if I lose my character, it doesn't really matter, right? Like, I can just go and get power leveled again. But the problem is, like, if somebody else uses their character, like, they might not be able to get mob tagged the same way I can. So, like, I I'm trying to play it careful for, like, the other people in my group. Just make the guild do it. Yeah, easy. We got four out of, uh, out of ten for those. Alright, now we fight the hard area. This next boss is going to be a lot more rough. Oh, this one's locked. So dead, so you want to open it, you can. Assuming you've got the skill. Ooh, look at that damage. Holy shit. I'm out of control. God damn. I'm gonna go ahead and just pull this myself. get more of these bandanas, man. I don't have all ten. Looks like I've got more than anybody else, too. Okay, I'll go ahead and pull. Oh, yeah, I put it on F1. That's right. I just remember the muscle memory for it. Okay, that's only one mob. Let's pull this guy, then. I have to run it twice for all the bandanas. Yeah, maybe at the beginning tomorrow or something like that, sure. Because, like, obviously you can only run it once a day. Easy. Do you have to banner or PE video? I've gotten so many more members. Thank you. Well, it's my pleasure, man. Hopefully I'll be one of them soon. Let me just pull. Let me pull. Yeah, I think at this point, Attili, just let me pull since I'm higher level. The respawns, oh, apparently you can kill the other ones, but not. Yeah. That way it's just like... Because I don't think that I will make a mistake with pulling. 
Now, I could, right? I definitely could, but I'm pretty confident. Inside. Fuck. There we go. There we go. Nice. So after this, maybe we do BFD? Because apparently BFD is, is harder than stockades. BFD? Yeah. Hamcock? Oh, there he is! BFD is easy? For me, it's not. Like, I don't know anything about BFD. Not gonna aggro. One quest in uh, Iron Forge, one in Dark Shore. I got a Warlock outside BFD. Okay. Well, that means we need to get a port over to, to Darnassass, right? Okay, uh, just a minute. No, 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 no. Sorry. Sorry. I, I probably misled you guys there. I shouldn't have moved in. Bad nonverbal communication. Ooh, I got knocked down. What level is the Warlock? I'm level, um... Uh, what level is my Warlock? I'm level 40... 47 on the Warlock, so I'm doing pretty well on him. Kill this guy first. Snap a Jordan. Very unlikely something like that's gonna drop. Trying to get someone to get the quest for us? Yeah, that'd be ideal. Um, I'll go ahead and just pull these individually. Healer was kind of low mana, so I wanted to wait. Oh, wow. That guy didn't even aggro. I did not expect that. Man, I gotta get world buffs for BFD, man. Yeah, I've really... I've, I've gotta get, like, world buffs or something, you know what I mean? Like, because we, we want to really show up, but, like, let everybody know, like, that we're good. Do Kara? Oh, really? Got it. Nice. Two and four. Uh, it's still not better than mine. Mine has a really good enchant on it. Let's move in. The aggro table in this place is so fucked sometimes. It's fine. I think, I mean, just like stupid mistakes can happen though, like... Yeah, man, it's just what can happen, like, out of nowhere. Okay, um... Everybody else, uh... I'm gonna try and pull these mobs individually, and if that doesn't work, we're gonna kill... Attili, you're gonna get aggro on Hamcock? You're gonna get aggro on Hamcock? Want me to tank him? And then I'm going to get aggro on the ads. Yeah, all three aggro. Uh, I'm gonna just try to line of sight that. Uh, it's too bad that we had that happen. Not a big deal. Clicked on sheep. Oh, it's actually a good decision. Uh, oh, oh, to have the sheep. Oh, yeah, you, you broke it. That's not a good deal. Nice. Congrats, dude. Okay. It's pretty good. Everybody wait in this room. Ooh, that is the cocksucker. That right there, gentlemen, he is the cocksucker. I 
know we're gonna get a drink after this, so I uh, just pulled all four. Shot. Uh, yeah, I, I usually a tank was doing it, so I, I didn't do it. Just give you guys a second for mana. Is Dead Mines harder than BFD? Personally, I think BFD is pretty hard. Like, I'm gonna be real. Like, I, I, I think it's hard. But that's because I don't really know a lot about it. So that's why I think that I, I consider it more challenging, is because of that. Is party right there? Yeah, something's annoying. Yeah. This is harder than BFD? You think so? I hope you're right. If we pull one, I'll go pull more. There's two. Okay. I feel like my dual wield damage is actually really good. You're doing top damage? Really? Okay, so... Because of Attili's combat level, I think I should be the one to tank the boss, right? What do you guys think? Okay, so, uh, wait, 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 Droger, Droger, why would you stand that close to the boss? Um, let me do it, Chief. Get the ads. Wait, you think you're man, you're man enough to tank him? All right. All right, he thinks he's man enough to tank the boss? I'm ready. Yep, just sheep one of them. Not a big deal. I can't tank the adds. You have to manage. I will. We're going to sheep the one that's moon. We're going to kill the other one. And we're going to kill the boss after this, not the other ad. Just keep it cheap. game of my life. Nice! Holy shit, we did it! God damn! That was really fucking good! Good work, gentlemen! But we popped the fuck off! Now we gotta go turn all these in. What the fuck was that damage? I don't even know what my damage is. I have no idea. Why is this so easy for you? I always see people dying here. Uh, the reasons why it's easy is because we didn't make any mistakes. Uh, number one. Uh, like one, and also like it's mainly about preparation. And also I have really good gear. Like I have this weapon that's really Light strong. With you. So, the alliance. Go with honor there it him. is. Light bless you. It is. Be careful. Okay, I guess I'll go turn this quest in anyway. Uh, so, like, that's some of the main reasons. And, like, now I guess we do BFD, right? Big fucking dungeon. Gear is part of preparation. Yeah, but, like, I'm saying, like, I didn't really prepare. Like, people just gave me the gear, so that made it easier. Yeah, let's fucking do it, guys. Let's fucking do BFD. Or do backwards to maximize experience? Yeah. You guys didn't get feared either? It wouldn't have mattered if we had gotten feared. I already had my trinket ready for the fear. Oh, that wouldn't have worked, actually. 
would not have worked. It's immobilizing, slowing, and stun. Maybe it's Dextra and Ward that fears? I don't remember. Do you? Yeah. Three dungeons back to back? Yeah. Okay. I went to the wrong place. Do you have any better gear? Well, yeah, also, um, you know, we plan things out more. And I think that because we plan things out and we don't just like randomly run in and pull, uh, you it, need it's going to make it a lot easier. See you around. I mean, obviously. See you later. Have a good one. See you later. Sean, I guess I'll go turn this one into. Yeah, I want to go and get all these turned in real quick. And then we can get ready to go over to BFD. Being on comms helps 90% of the issues. Well, it's also because people, as I said, they know what they're doing. That's the big reason. And also, like, I understand, should we fight the Dusk Grid and Red Ridge? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to. I want to turn these in. Because I know, especially for you guys, uh, the levels are more important. And you guys can invite and get ready, get us ready to get summoned over there, too. It's a chain for the blue ring. Yeah, I know. I'll eventually get the blue ring. Finish your seal of ring quest line before going. It's Abyss Ring. I'm not going to worry about finishing it right now. It takes a lot of time to finish. And also, like, I think some of the mobs are, like, level 31 or something like that. And I don't want to take a risk. Boots are enchanted. Yeah, my boots are enchanted. That's why I've kept them. And I got these legs, too. They're actually really cheap. You saw Tectone hit 60? Yeah, he did. It was good for him. I was proud. Okay. Go we'll talk to this guy over here. Hopes you have one veteran. Yeah, because like, I've played the game you? a lot, and so Go like... Honor, friend. Be careful. There's a lot the of alliance. mistakes that people make because they haven't played the game a lot. And it makes sense, right? Like, you know, for example, walking into guards. Imagine that! So whenever you have mistakes like that happen, well, guess what? Uh, you know, you, that now you've learned. But because I've already made a lot of these mistakes, or I've seen other people, really, with a lot of them, I've seen other people make the mistakes, I don't really need to make them because I already did it. Almost dang. There you go, dude. Yeah, too soon? Yeah. What does Roach out mean? It means uh, to run away and let everybody else die. I should probably download Atlas Suit so I can look at what these different bosses drop. Classic WoW is a knowledge game, if anything. Yeah, it is. And also, it's about knowing what to do in, like, a situation. Like, that's why I tell people ahead of time. I don't know if you guys noticed this, but, like... Usually, I will tell people ahead of time what we're going to do if something goes bad. You need something? Because I don't want people to try to make that decision. You need something? Uh, For during the, the... See you later. Okay, I, I don't want to do this yet. Um... Uh, Algae Fists? What are these? Uh, that's not good. Strike of the Hydra, the sword. Uh, yeah, I mean, I can, uh, like, I'll do it. I don't think I'm gonna get those items, though. Okay. How many Maxi do you think SOD will be at the start without beta or PTR? It will immediately be min Maxi. People always try to min Max stuff. That's just how it is. It's not like a, uh, I'm gonna go over to Red Ridge and Duskwood. It'll take me a couple of minutes. Yeah, I can't get over there on my own. Unfortunately. Recently gotten into watching your streams more. I'm curious uh, about playing WoW. Is it worth getting into it? I definitely think that it's worth playing WoW, for sure. Oh wow, those are huge. Um, I think it's definitely worth playing WoW, but one thing to keep in mind is that... Like... 
hardcore is not a good experience for new players. So, like, unless you're in a guild or you're playing with people that are veterans, you're probably going to have a really bad time playing hardcore. And the reason why is because, like, there's all these, like, little micro mistakes you can make that you don't even know that they, that they exist, right? You have no idea, like, oh, well, it's because of this one thing that can happen. Um, how could you possibly know that? Classic arrows popping off? Yeah. Like, my best advice is that if you really want to play hardcore, play hardcore WoW. And whenever your character dies, your character just goes to Classic Era. And so, either play again on hardcore after your character dies if you want to, or go over to Classic Era, finish leveling your character, get an idea for, like, how the game works. And then after that, then you can play something else. Uh, then play hardcore again. But the truth is that playing hardcore WoW will take hours and like a lot of the things that like I know I've learned over 15 years of playing the game now obviously like you know my experience playing Mists of Pandaria doesn't really help me playing classic WoW but my point is that I've played the game a lot and because I've played it a lot I understand a lot of the intricate mechanics So your hardcore character gets continued in Classic? Yeah, that's my understanding. Dragonflight's first real expansion, I'm having so much fun. Dragonflight is great in a lot of ways. Like, I'm not a Dragonflight hater. Ooh, I'm gonna get Death Wish soon. Holy fuck. Let me see if I can download some add-ons. I have to download a weak aura to tell me, uh, give me cooldown timers for the level 20 bosses. I actually just want to download Atlas Loot. Okay. All right. So we've got Black Fathom Deeps. This is the next one we're doing here. This would be a pretty nice chess piece, maybe for armor. Uh, that sword could be good, too. Two-handed axe. Oh, that'd be big. Uh, Twilight Lord of uh, Kelris. Old Seracus. That's kind of garbage. And yeah, I can get this, though. Strike of the Hydra. The thing is, like, my weapon's already pretty good. I don't know. Maybe I should get it just because it looks cool. It's like a katana. So we've got Nomergon, Razorfin Crawl. And then we have Scarlet Monastery. Aren't those hands better in yours? I don't really know. What level should we do Scarlet Monastery at? Because what what's the level of... Like, 40? I think we could do it at, like, 37. Yeah, if we start at 37, we'll level up to 38 d doing, like, armory. Because I, I know Herod is level 40, and the boss is 42. Yeah, if it's 42, that'd be fine. Yeah, so I think we started at level 37. We could do graveyard, but, like, really, who gives a fuck about graveyard? And then after that, then we have the real big dick dungeons. Like, I think after we do Scarlet Monastery, we do Oldeman. Or, actually, what's the last boss on Oldeman, Ar Arcadeus? Is he 47 or 42? I think he's 42, right? Or he's 47. Holy shit. Okay, so if he's 47, a memoir of Coldbringer is like, what, 44? What's he? Yeah, I'm trying to remember. I think he's probably a lot lower level, isn't he? So yeah, we'll do Scarlet Monastery at 38. And then after we do Scarlet Monastery, or 37, then we'll do Razorfin Downs after we finish that. Because Razorfin Downs drops like a lot of really big dick items. And then we'll get up to like 43 for Oldeman. And then Zulfarak. 
Honestly, I don't think this fight is that hard. Or the, not this fight, uh, this boss is that hard. Or dungeon, whatever the fuck it is. Um, like, this is the only cock right here. It's this boss here. He is a major big cock, though. They can find where plate is going to be lit. Yeah, I know. RFD is big loot. Oh, yeah. Where's RFD in here? Okay, so I guess... Or, sorry, RFK. I guess for RFK, we'll do that after Nomergon. Hmm. Do you have a good feeling about WoW, World of Warcraft, the World of Them? Do I have a good feeling about it? Um, I mean, I have a feeling about it. Like, I think that the War Within is going to be another expansion for World of Warcraft retail. That's my general opinion on it. I don't feel like they're really transforming anything fundamental in the game. And it seems like it's just going to be more of the same. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's bad. And there's a lot of people that are like, oh, wow, more of the same. That's great, because I like what, what the game is. But personally, I actually like... Hey there. Uh, uh, you, you know, I like kind of how... See you around. Like Cataclysm was, or how Legion was. Well met. Like Cataclysm and Legion were not well received in a lot of ways. But at least they tried to break the mold of what an expansion is. And I wish Blizzard would be more experimental with what the expansions are. So, yeah. Turn on boss levels and Atlas loot. Model. So I do that. That's whatever. I'll just remember the numbers now. Why am I in a ten man? Oh, we were able to get a summon over somewhere. Light be with you Ooh. or the alliance. Big dick. Light bless you. We got one more turn in to do. Oh, actually, we have a turn in here. Your ass barley brew. Wait, what? Oh, okay. What's on your mind? No. Great. Safe travel. Yeah, I didn't even know I had to do that. Okay, we've only got one more turn in to do. And then I'm ready to take the summon. Uh, is there, isn't there a quest in Ironforge? Should we go get that? Yeah, is there a quest in Ironforge that we need to get? We got someone picking up all of them? Okay, great. You still have an estimate how many hours you put into the game? Uh, about 35,000. On this character only, I've only, I've only played it for 12 hours. Yeah. Bruce experience in her mess. Appreciate solid attempt to push the envelope. Yeah, I know. I just think, like, the problem is that Blizzard... Blizzard makes really big changes in the game sometimes, but they make them in really bad ways. And then, because Blizzard implements them in a bad way, and then players don't like it, I think that they're, they think to themselves, oh, well, we don't want to make these big changes because players don't like them. But the truth is that a big change like artifact weapons or something else like that People actually do want those big changes, but they just want them done in a way that's fun. And a way that doesn't, like, waste your time. Imagine how good at guitar you'd be. Oof, who cares? Like, I, I like playing this game. I don't care about guitar. I think the only misstep was LFD and LFR. Well, they've made a lot of mistakes. They take their ball and go home with it whenever you, we don't like it. Yeah. It's kind of like... Like with Dragonflight right now. I think that again... Like, why do we have Mythic Plus keys getting depleted? Like, everybody knows the Mythic Plus atmosphere is really toxic. Like, this is like a defined thing. Everybody knows this is a problem. And I think that even the people that don't... Well, actually, yeah, everybody... And I think everybody admits this, right? It's not like there are some people that don't admit it. Or some people that are like, oh, I don't agree with this. No, I think everybody thinks this. And because they think it, why haven't Blizzard changed this? Why haven't they made a change? And I think the problem is that Stitch is getting summoned. Oh, really? Ooh, exciting. So I could have Stitches attack me. 
PvP is more toxic? Oh yeah, no doubt. Has there ever been an MMORPG hardcore mode before WoW? Or is WoW the first? MMORPG hardcore mode. Uh, no, there's always been games like that. Yeah, OSRS. Yeah, they've got Iron Man or whatever. Hmm. See if this guy's got anything good here. Yo, what's up? I'm out of here, not taking a chance. Right yeah, it's okay. Yeah, I actually don't have like a light of a balloon or anything. So if I uh, if I have stitches attack me, I'm gonna die. We'll see what happens. We do warrior quest line for your blue weapon. I don't really care about it, but I will. Uh, I, I know a lot of people want to see it, and so I'll do it for them. I wish I had gotten an, w only one point in improved battle shot so I could get more blood grace. But that's okay. You should have a rare alert add-on. I'm just, like, I mean, it's obvious if he's going to be there. He's, like, massive, right? Okay, he's not over here. I'm almost ready for summon, by the way, guys. I think we should be fine. Okay. Looks like we're safe. Not too bad, all right. Saved, yeah. I'm gonna go turn this in right now. There he is. Well met. And I got the hand, and both of these are garbage. Go with honor, anyway. friend. What can I do for you? I got 2,000 experience out of that, so I'll probably hit 27 really fast. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and get on the flight path right now, just in case he tries to attack me again. I can take summon whenever, by the way. Yeah, I'm good to go whenever. Need help? Be careful. How many roaches kill stitches? Oh, we've killed them before. It's not too big of a deal. We just do it. There we go. All right. Thank you very much. All righty, gentlemen. BFD. Plug, I'm sorry. It's okay. You help me summon. Is everybody else here? Oh, we got one mo. One mo. How many roaches does it take to crash a server? Uh, well, I actually do know the answer to that. Uh, probably about like 2,000. Yeah, we tried that. So, um,. This is the first time I've ever done this dungeon. Like, seriously, I've ever done the dungeon. So, I don't really know what to expect here. I don't know how this is supposed to work. I don't know how any of this fits together. I'm just kind of here. Uh, I guess we go on to water. Yeah. I'll let you know if there's danger, danger. Okay. I just realized I don't have an indicator for... Oh, I do, but I have underwater breathing with them. Ooh, these are already level 21. There's been some people that uh, have treated my whispers as like their own personal chat to me. If you're sending me messages regularly, I'm just going to put you on ignore, unless I know you. Uh, I don't want to be a dick, right? But... Stop it. Fucking annoying. No losers? Yeah, people try to, like, get, get my attention or, like, say something funny or whatever. No, I don't want to hear it. 
All right, guys. I'm uh, I'm out of my element on this one, so uh, we'll see how this goes. Some people don't have high social intelligence. I think that a lot of people don't have high social intelligence because they're never given the opportunity to fail. Uh, is this, by the way, like, do I need to turn the quest here? Because it says there's a question mark, but apparently it's not. Like, people, like, usually, like, they, they act weird because they never get checked. Are we ready? Yeah, we can start pulling. Quest inside the dungeon? Got it. Ooh, big dick. Too much smiling and nodding. Yeah, it's like, I know that, like, for myself, personally, I actually learned a lot from kind of getting checked by people whenever I was younger. Uh, especially online. And I think, actually, it's probably, like, the most healthy for it to happen online. Because there's not, like, any sort of, like, real danger, right? Like, despite what Twitter would have you think, you cannot be unsafe on the internet. Uh, that, that, that doesn't exist. Uh, it's like being cold in Antarctica. It just doesn't happen. Turn this down a bit. Um, so anyway, because of that... Uh, oh, we got, a, we got a cocksucker. That's a cocksucker. There it is. I'll pull him out. Thank you. Yeah. False? I mean, how can somebody possibly be unsafe on the internet? Like, I, I don't know. Like, you, you can't be in immediate danger. Emotional damage? Doxing? I guess, actually, we're, we're, we're getting into, an, like, an abstract... Like, bad things can happen to you on the internet. What I'm saying is, like, somebody can't, like, punch you in the face through the, uh... Like, doxing and stuff like that is bad, usually because of what it leads to in real life. Rather than, like, what, what, what the actual action in itself is. It's bad because of the chain of events. Not yet? Yeah, sure. Well, anyway, but my point is, is that, um... Uh, I, I think that, like, somebody, like, kind of getting checked online whenever they're acting weird or antisocial or doing something that people don't like, I actually think that it's, like, really healthy for people to have that happen because it gives them the opportunity to... Okay, yeah, I think we go this way. Corrupted brain stems. Oh, am I supposed to loot these? I didn't know that. Um... I'll get up real quick. You guys can keep going. Uh, I think it gives them the opportunity to have, like, a negative interaction in an unironic safe place. Or safe, yeah, in, in a, a safe space. And I think that, you know, people that, that have that happen, they learn how to act. So I think there's a big problem with, like, people that just straight up don't know how to act. And I see it all the time. Like, they'll say things that are, like, really awkward or, like, weird. And it's like... You know that the reason why this person says this stuff is because nobody's ever kind of checked them on, like, what they're saying. So true, look at the Neon Kid. Well, I think that a lot of that, I mean, like, I, I wouldn't even really count that. Like, Neon is, like, a content creator, right? So I, I wouldn't really trust everything that a content creator does to be, like, completely authentic. I kind of like Neon. I think he's okay. He's not really a bad dude. But... Just in general, I wouldn't expect that. Is it like calling people broke boys if someone never got checked? Uh, kind of. I mean, I think that really... I, I think it's just like, there's a certain amount of like getting checked. Like, I, I mean more as like a personal... It, it's more like interpersonal. Like, I'm not talking about like somebody getting in trouble like with the internet as a, at a whole, right? Like, I don't... Ooh, there it is. All right, we're in. All righty, boys. This is the hardest dungeon Blizzard's ever made. That's why it's becoming a raid, Season of Discovery. So you guys really need to take this seriously. Like, we can't have anybody fucking around. No games, no fun, no enjoyment. Uh, this is all for, uh, all for winning. More like within your circles? Yeah, I mean like more interpersonal things. 
Because, like, I'll, like, for example, like, I'll have people that, um, uh, what do you call it? That, like, will act, like, weird, and it's because they just don't even really know that they're being weird. Because nobody ever told them that, because most people don't want to have, uh, they don't want to have some social negative interaction with this person, right? And so they just kind of let them be weird. Parents' fault? No, I don't think so. I actually don't think it's the parents' fault because the parents, like, are only gonna act one sort of way towards like their kid. But um, it's really just like, uh, like a social, a social thing. At least that's what I think. Just kill these guys here. Yeah, I don't want to have any like mistakes happen or anything like that. Okay, guys, uh, this is the hardest boss. We saw Fandy uh, fall off on this one, too. What are we doing? Stop, stop, everybody stop. Come back. Come back to the mob. Everybody come back to the mob. You let something like that sit there, and then somehow it's going to bug out and aggro more mobs, or it's going to appear on the healer whenever we don't want it to. You never know. It could aggro those. I don't know what can happen. Just has no idea. Younger kid's going to be in trouble socializing. Yeah, all right, guys. Let's go. Yeah, and I think I've learned a lot, you know, from, like, negative social interactions, especially online. And it's helped me, you know, learn how to act more in real life, too. Is this hardcore? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not really, uh, not really familiar with this dungeon, so as I said, I'm kind of a little bit scared. When softcore, when I play my Warlock and I just turn in stuff for experience and I never even do anything. That's softcore. It's great. Seen a lot of clips from here? Yeah. I don't know. As I said, I, this is all kind of like new to me. Do you plan a Warlock tank in the Season of Discovery? I'm gonna level up two characters. I'm gonna level up the Warlock. Wow. Ooh, ooh. Any needers? Okay, let's go. Ooh, that's a big boy. It's Loy's day. Yeah, Loy's gotten a lot of really good gear. I just want to get Death Wish, man, so I can have, like, a cooldown I can use on a boss, you know? Hopefully we get a critical strike for Executor. 30, 60 damage? How does this turtle have so much fucking armor? Jesus. Okay, uh, are there any other bosses that we need to do here? I don't know, like, isn't there like an area that we go down this way and there's like Naga or something? Come with me, okay. Guys, I swear to God, if you fucking drown, I'm going to lose my mind. You weren't paying attention. Uh, let's get the Marmadon turn around. See, it's just, you, you, not only do you have to know what the right option is, you also have to know that other people don't know what the right option is and know exactly any possible outcome that could happen that would be negative. That's about being a raid leader in a classic WoW. You're playing everybody's account. 
Ooh. Okay, let's talk to this guy. I am on Ooh. Darn ass ass. Oh wow, I get a blue for this. Holy shit. Farewell. Nice. I didn't even know that. Alright, let's go. We level one, boys? Yeah. Oh, I can get my point. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna get enraged damage for now. That way, like, I mean, I think flurry is more important. Like, dual specialization is okay, but 5% offhand weapon damage isn't really that much, I feel. Because, like, offhand already you lose, uh, like, damage with it. Hydra? I don't know where we're going. Okay, kill this guy. Bitch. Uh, uh, yeah, all right, guys, over here. Sorry. I'm just kidding. I'm just fucking with you guys. Right back. Ah. Uh. Was that a good one? Did you guys like that? Yeah. I still have five brains? I don't know. Yeah, I only have one. What the fuck? Okay, what's this? Five strength, five stam. That's garbage. Oh, so what's this? Ooh. This way. I feel like dungeons, maybe this is like me being stupid, but I feel like dungeons get easier as you level up. Because you just have so many more tools to solve problems. Yeah, yeah, like in a way, like it sounds stupid, but I was like more afraid of Wailing Caverns than I will be of like ZF. RFC, hardest dungeon confirmed? Yeah. Sometimes you cannot solve a problem with somebody's stupidity. Yeah, you can. You just Petri. Problem solved. Yeah, I don't see the issue there. Yeah, somebody's stupid, you just Petri, and then it's not a problem. What's wrong with that? I think there's two guys this way. That's no, just one. Okay. Unless they're the fifth horseman, Petri's 50. Yeah, I know. Well, you just get the 50 first. You should not be here. All right, let's do it. Big dick. Bro, I love missing my attacks. That's so fun. Gotcha, bitch. 3.4%, uh, that one's not as good as what I have. I'm just gonna pass on that. It's like maybe a side grade, but this one, uh, this one has fiery and it also has four strength or four stam. What was it? Yeah, four stam. We'll just leave this. Okay. I don't really know where to go now. Maybe we go this way? I don't know. I guess we'll figure it out. This is so boring compared to retail, it's ridiculous. Well, retail WoW is definitely a lot harder than classic WoW. Alright, I think everybody knows that. But, like, classic WoW 
there's like a sense of uh what's the word for it like where's the wh 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 how, how's a good way to make it more sense make it make more sense like there's like a sense of like meaning in the game that like retail doesn't really have anymore and i feel like that's become the case for a lot a lot of years now like retail is just kind of lost a lot of like its meaning just pull the yellow thing make sure not to go under 50 percent breath guys hasn't had for years yeah retail feels heartless well it either feels heartless or it feels too emotional you know You know, world of peace craft is that up to person well yeah i mean there's some people that like retail more and they like what retail has to offer more i think that's great you know and i i think the best thing about the fact that classic wow exists is the fact that retail wow can exist and uh let's pull this back here wait what What the fuck was that? Yeah, I, I don't really understand what that- Yeah, yeah, let's pull these. Good idea. Smart. Retail seems like more of a dungeon lobby than a world. Yeah, like... I think that Classic WoW, like, not even Burning Crusade was as good as Classic WoW. Like, BC was good for different way for different reasons. But personally, I think Classic WoW is like head and shoulders over any other... Uh, just give me a second, I gotta go loot something. Uh, any other version of the game that we've had before or after. Or not, I mean, not, not before. Before was the first one, right? But we had after. That's garbage. Throw that away. Wrath? I don't think Wrath was very good. I think Wrath had a lot of problems. Wrath had Old War, which was like, in my opinion, probably the best dungeon ever made. But Old War isn't really that much better than, let's say, Throne of the, uh, or, uh, uh what's it called? Uh, Throne of Thunder. I think Throne of Thunder was like the second best raid ever made. And Throne of Thunder, in a lot of ways, is better than Old War. Wrath dungeons are good, though? Really? I don't think so. I think they're boring. I think the only dungeons that are interesting are classic WoW dungeons and some of the new ones. Like, I think Mechagon was really interesting. And I really like the uh, Return to Karazhan dungeon, too. Tazavesh, I didn't really care a lot about. It wasn't really that appealing to me. Damn. Tazavesh was great. Yeah, that's fine. I just didn't really care about it as much as the other ones. I'm gonna make sure there's no... Yeah, I'm gonna just pull them right now. I can detect them since I'm higher level. Makes it easier for me. Let's see if there's any more. Yeah, there's one right there. bitch. Did I already get bored in New World? No, I've just been playing something else. Uh, I'll play New World again. Why wouldn't I? I actually like New World. Uh, I, I like the, uh, I just like, I like a lot of things about the game. But, like, I, I think a lot of people just had, like, such a bad first impression of New World that, like, nobody wants to give it a second chance. And I think that, like, for example, the expansion in New World was really, really, really good. You ever get the Laz Mace? I didn't. Uh, I... Maybe that's why I stopped playing. Yeah, I didn't get the Lazarus Mace. The economy is shit in New World. Uh, is it? I don't know. I think it's pretty much fine. Make sure we don't have any bad boys. No. I bought New World, played it for three days, and I never went back. Uh, 
it is what it is. Yeah, I like it though. New World's cool, but the economy and player cap sucks. I think the player cap is the worst thing about the game. Other than that, I think it's actually a pretty good game. Like, New World had, like, one of the best implementations of an expansion that I've ever seen. Gotcha, bitch. Oh, there's a lot of cocksuckers around here. Make sure we pull these, uh, these guys here. I uh, probably should just pull all of these, realistically. Because that way we can make sure we get all the brain stems. This is hardcore combat looked always so shitty to me. Uh, I, I think that the New World combat, like, New World is a game that, like... The more casual you are, the more fun you're going to have in the game. And the more seriously you play the game, probably the less fun you're going to have in the game. Like, just like in a general, in a general sense. I need food buff? Okay. Point packs after this? I don't know. Boss first? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I don't know what to do first. I'm just here. Got him. On the left side? Okay, well then let's do that. I don't see a boss. Oh, uh, now I see him. Yeah, yeah, there he is. New World needs his really big raids. Yeah, also, um... Like... I think that, like, there are just some, like, s some fundamental problems that... Oh, wow. That's actually really, uh, those sell pretty well. Um... Um, okay, everybody move back after this. Everybody move back. Move way back. Yeah, you know what to do. Yeah, I, I just, I, I didn't want to have, like, everything get pulled at the same time, you know? Because I could tell, like, because we were going to aggro casters, they were going to start running after them, it was going to be a bad time. Let me just pull, let me pull. Big damage? Oh, yeah. Ooh, defense. Okay, we got one more set. Alrighty. Will you review your own death whenever you die? Who says I'm gonna die? Like, I haven't died. I've never died in hardcore. Actually, no, I died unofficially whenever somebody pulled a mob on top of me. So, like, yeah, I technically did die. But besides that, I have not ever died. So, uh, hopefully that, uh, that stays to be the case. Alright. Sorry. A giga ethical well hey i mean it's at least like i feel like hardcore it's already it's hard enough man Ooh, it's a two-handed axe that looks really cool but i'm not gonna take it 
Uh, I, I feel like there's already enough stupid things that can happen randomly that I'm not going to take the chance by not putting myself in a really advantageous position with Hardcore WoW. There's a shrine? Okay. Oh, I didn't see you guys pulled down. Okay. That's my bad, I should've been paying attention. Miss Buff? Okay. Oh, it's Spirit and Intellect, I don't even care about that. We good? Yeah, it's a caster buff. That's good. I I'm glad they're making that a world buff, because uh, there are no real caster world buffs. All the world buffs are like, mainly for, uh, for melee. Frost resist too? Yeah. I remember your one death back in the day. Uh, Ask Mongo and MF Jones. Yeah, I really fucked up. Like, that's the thing is that the one thing I'm afraid of is... Let me just get this guy. Um, the one thing I'm afraid of is just choking. Because I think that as long as I'm not panicking, I will never make a mistake. But... I'm worried that, like, something will go wrong, and I'll just turn off my brain and go into panic mode, and then make a mistake. That's the only thing I'm, like, gen generally afraid of. It's fine. Let's make sure I pull him out of stealth. Just don't panic? Yeah, I know. Well, that's why I, I, like, I try not to take it too seriously, right? Because if I'm just playing more casually, like, maybe I, I won't have as much of, like, a worry whenever my character gets low. Invisible Dinosaur and Steering Gorge. That was the dumbest fucking shit. Well, the thing is, like, whenever I died in, um, in the Iron Man challenge, it was kind of, like, my fault, you know? Like, I, I really, really, really misplayed that. I misplayed it so bad, it was insane. But, like, that's just what happens, right? It's like, I have, you know, like, you just go into panic brain. And, like, you just stop thinking. Just don't die? Yeah. Like, that's why, like, I see some people die, and, like... I can get why they, they make the mistakes they do. Because, like, whenever you're worried, or whenever I was worried... Like, I just can't, I can't think, you know? It's like my brain turns off. I feel like I'm under pressure. Should I refresh these? Oh, big dick. The panic is number one killer in hardcore? Yeah. Getting no brains to drop? It doesn't matter because as soon as, um... Oh, shit. Now I know where we are. Okay. Here we go. Let's see how this goes. Instincts kick in, reasoning goes out. Yeah. Do we go uh, above or underwater first? Do above first. Yeah, let's do above, obviously. That's fine, we go above. Yeah, yeah. Do that. Get these guys. Because, like, the mobs from b b uh, above can come down and attack us below, but the mobs from below can't attack us from above. So it just makes sense to do above first. There we go. These mobs are pretty easy. We shouldn't even worry about them too much. We can kill two packs if we accidentally aggro one, so it's whatever. Let's get these guys up here, too. Ooh, actually, these are way higher level. I just noticed that. Oh, we got, we got some extra ones. 
There it is. Jesus. This guy's doing a lot of damage. What the fuck is this? Okay, I need to get Twilight Pendants, too. Um... Yeah, we got it. It's no big deal. Get both of these guys, too. There's no mobs that way. There's not a pendants. Tell your party to abandon the quest. Well, if anybody's gonna get them, it should be them, because I can mob tag a lot easier. Yeah, like, I'm not worried at all, uh, personally. Okay, let's not do that one. Let's do these first. I'm gonna- I'm gonna be so happy whenever I can get, uh, I do Fury. I can go water after these. No, let's do the ones on top before water. Uh, I think we're gonna aggro the ones on top if we're in the water. Uh, I don't know how it's gonna happen, but I know it will happen. It's not what I would do, but okay. Yeah, I just, uh, like... I'm the kind of person, like, I always think about, like, what could go wrong. You know, I'm, I'm actually very cautious whenever I'm in that kind of a mindset. Oh, defense. Okay. Uh, I guess... Uh, yeah. Missed looting a guy. Oh, yeah, you're right. We also missed a chest. Don't mind if I do. Let me go over there. Oh, I got three. Nice. Okay. This dungeon's ass if the whole party has the quests. Yeah. Uh, we got formula, enchant weapon, lesser spirit. And I got two Lester mana potions, so I guess I can give those to Drogear. Oh, I got a watermelon! Just one at a time. Dungeon, uh, gets less. Gnomer gone or BFD? I think that Gnomer gone will be, like, our first big risk. Like, what do you guys think? Got it. Um. Uh, pull these back. Pull these back. Yeah. Gnomer and SM? You think Scarlet Monastery is a risk? I really don't think so. I think Scarlet Monastery is so easy. It's one of the easiest dungeons in the game. Yeah, it's super clean. Yeah. I just can't imagine, like, something going wrong. Like, I mean, maybe it could. I just can't think of it. Let's pull these. Cathedral has some pulls. Bro, Cathedral can have some pulls. It's not gonna have any pulls because I'm not gonna make a fucking mistake. 
Like, you're absolutely right. Like, there are people that play Cathedral that are fucking garbage. But that's not me, bro. Like, I, I, I don't fuck that up. I don't make mistakes. Cathedral can be spicy? Yeah, because people suck dick. Let's pull these guys, and then we'll be, uh, we'll be good to go down. Yeah, let's get one more guy, and then we'll be good. Yeah, just this guy. Gotcha, bitch. Make sure I loot some of these for the, uh, insignias. Four. Is this six? Nope. That's a fucking shield. Okay, what about this? Nice. Okay. Everybody group up over at Drogear. Next boss will be a cocksucker. Is he really? Yeah, is he actually a cocksucker? I feel like he's not a cocksucker. He has a lot of single target damage. Really? Uh, I don't know where to go, by the way. I'm just gonna follow you guys. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, it's a danger, Nessie. Hey, get, get back up. Get back up to the, the, the top. Okay, let's go. But until we get aggro, then. I'm gonna demo shot him. It's an underwater long boy? Yeah. Make sure you guys aren't, uh, aren't drowning. Ooh, big damage. Nice. What a piece of fucking shit. I'm gonna throw it away. Or a pass on, I mean. I say throw it away. Yeah, yeah, it's no big deal. That won't help you. You guys will get it. Just get it. Wait, did he make it? Oh, alright. Good job, guys. 
We got one more. All right. Great work, guys. Thank God we uh, saved time with that shortcut. Oh, I pulled a mob. Oops. I didn't know there were guys there. No, 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 no. Over this way. There you go. ABC, always be smart. Uh, y'all want me to pull? Let me pull. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Just LOS. Yeah, if you guys want me to handle it, I can handle it. Yeah, I won't pull the, the thing. I know, like, yeah, if you click on the bowls or some shit, a bunch of mobs spawn. Ooh, Twilight Lord Kelris. I guess he's like a bad guy or something. We gotta kill him. I'll just keep pulling. Uh, you got it? Okay, yeah, that's fine. Don't touch anything, what the fuck? Yeah. I remember watching, like, that one video of the guy that summoned all the ads at the same time and, like, everybody died. That was a great video. Yeah, you got it. I'm just gonna pull the Shadow Mage, too. Cody did that too. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, like, the reason why I know it's a bad idea is because I've done it. But I did it on retail, when it doesn't matter. Other side. Are we good? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't know why that happens. Who knows? Really good. St wow. Wow, we. Wow, woo, woo, woo. Oh, wow, woo, woo. That's really good. Two BOEs. All right, uh, I'm ready whenever you guys are. Need? No, there's no reason to need on it. Like uh, I've got infinite gold. Some of the people in the group don't, so I just pass on everything. Interrupt to sleep? Yeah. By the way, I can't interrupt, so just keep that in mind. Do I got nine? I might not get Who dares to stir my meditation? All right, big dickum, big dickum. Don't click nothing. Ain't nobody click nothing. Fine, boy, just point. You good? Good job. Easiest game of my life. And then we also got a uh, rod of the sleep wakener. Okay, so how, how does this work? So we have to light each fire one at a time, right? Probably should figure out how to get this. Just do one, then kill ads. Yeah. Okay. Um, I guess... Let me just click one. I'm gonna click one, right? Are we ready? Jump if we're ready. 
Jump if we're ready. One. Okay, we already pulled it. Okay, great. All right, let's go. Okay. And so, do they keep spawning, or is it just one... Ooh, what a loser, bro. Level six? Get him out of here. Oh, wow. Get this loser out of here. Who is this loser, bro? Like, where is he? Where is he? Like, dude, this guy sucks. Kick him out of the guild right now. Kick him out. Get him out of the guild right now. I don't want to see him. Yep, G kick him right now. Okay, uh, let's see. So now I should I should do another one. I'm gonna do it. I just did it. Ooh, look at all these guys. Ooh, that's a lot of dick suckers. Ooh, that's a lot of dick suckers. Ooh, wow, that is a preponderance of dick suckers. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. Okay, you got him. Good. Nice, good job. Uh, everybody's good on mana. I'm gonna pull another one. Where'd I be? Where'd I be at? Oh, shit. Triple turtle. Oh, I think there's- yeah, there's a lot of mobs. I think we probably could have done all of them at the same time, but it would have been, like, super rough. No up for the level six. Well, that's just how it is in my guild, bro. Like, if you get if you die in the guild, like everybody just shits on you. Especially if it's low level. Okay. We got one mo again. Let's see what this is. Ooh. Four crabs. It has to be done. It's not for new players. Get wrecked. Well, yeah, I mean, hardcore is definitely not meant for new players. You're right about that. A lot of people don't realize that. Like, I, I feel bad for any new player that, like, starts the game and starts with hardcore. You know? It's a big fucking mistake. All right, we gotta kill this last guy. And does this make the door open? Ooh, wow, wow. Wow, they were slain in a duel to the death? Oh, bro, loser. Loser, get him out of here. We don't want a loser in the guild. Kick the loser out of the guild. Martian Hardcore paid Don John 10 gold. Bro, get him out. He's out. He's out. He's done. He's done, guys. We're safe. We don't want any losers in the guild. Get him out of here. What a bitch. Rip Bozo, what are you doing for, bro? Like, what is this? That's a minus 10 gold, bro. That's a minus account. All right, just just pull this, pull this, pull this. He lost his whole account over that, man. That's the price of being a fucking bitch. All right, we're almost at the last boss. So have your officers paid kick protection money? Uh, well, uh, yeah, but like he died, so like uh, dying uh, negates all of that. Like we can't have a loser in the guild, man. Ooh. That's a big boy. That is a big boy. Play it safe, play it smart. Hope the sword drops? Yeah, me too. Me too. Get him, get him out of here. Just, just let him pat back. Let him pat back. 
we're gonna we're gonna deal with these turtles. I, I know this is a big item, right? See, I could get this right here. Strike Hydra. I could get that. Now, if I get it, I don't even know if I'm gonna use it. But I want it. It's a 332. People about to argue for extra money, saves you being kicked, never they die. I mean, like, bro, people are gonna argue about whatever the fuck, but it's just funny to me. Look, he's patting back. Looks like a real life Hydra. True. It's the exact same. Now, for this boss, uh, do we know anything on this boss? Like, uh, do we need, need to know anything? I, I don't think so, right? Yeah, is there anything I should know about this boss? No? Just kill him? Yeah, DPS? Alright. He just slaps? Okay, just, just, just don't die then. Alright. I'm ready when you guys are. on him. Big damage. Big damage. Let's go. Keep him up. Come on. That's the enrage. Big heals. Ooh, what? Damn! Damn! Look at that shit, boys! Oh my god! This is a big dick situation! I actually got the fucking sword! Wait, it, I didn't loot it. Okay, I, I gotta... I actually got the fucking sword! Look at that! Holy fuck, man. Let me loot this too. Ooh, blessing of Black Fathom. Well, that's huge. Speak with me to hear my tale. To Please port me to Darnassus. Okay, let's port to Darnassus. That's like the right decision, right? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Interest you on the fight? Be good. I feel kind of bad because, like, look at my quests. Nine of ten, seven of eight. Like, I actually just got dicked, man. I got cheated so bad. Ouch, yeah, it feels real bad. Fucking quest, yeah, I know. That's just the way it is, though. That's life. I need to fix those? Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. Maybe if they increase the, the drop rate by, like, 20% or so. So people don't want to have to run the same dungeon like that two times in a row. Use the sword. You guys want to see the sword? Can anybody do fiery enchant on my sword? Ooh. Ooh. Dang. I'm looking fresh to death. After this, I'm gonna go over to Stormwind, okay? I'll see if I can get a, uh, a fiery enchant over there. Not gonna lie, these dungeons have been easier than I thought they would be. You know why? It's because you have the Battle Master here. I just know everything about all these dungeons, so it's not gonna be a problem. Also, like... I think that the truth is that... Like, I don't make a lot of, uh... Like, I will make sure that we don't make mistakes, you know? And because of that... I think that, you know, like, well, we don't die. It's pretty simple. Oh, it's just one adding noise on. Like, I can kind of predict bad things that can happen. Ooh, congrats, Greetings. dude. Be careful. 
Light nice. Machine. How much is three thousand dollars for that one? It's a lot of money. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and port back. Oh, actually, let me go ahead and get the flight path here. Yeah, I might as well get the flight path here and at Duskwood or Darkshore. Not a lot of last shit. Well, it, it's not that. It's that I know I know what's what can happen that's bad. Like for example, like I can avoid. I can try to prevent us from running into bad situations. Weapon master for bows. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Forgot all about that. What's the end goal of this character? To defeat everything, kill everything, do everything, and win on a level that nobody's ever won before. Uh, that's about it. Yeah, just win. Yeah. Uh, we're actually starting to recruit level 60s into the guild. And the reason why is that um, I want to I spectate their raids uh, for content. Be careful. So I want them to raid for content so I can see them die. <clears throat> but you aren't 60? Oh, I, I could be 60 tomorrow if I wanted to be. On my Warlock? That'd be easy. I just haven't really given a fuck about it, to be honest with you. You actually got Hydra Strike? Yeah, I did. It's not really that good. Like, my other weapons are already way better, especially because they both have Fiery on them. But this is nice. I'll probably... I don't know if I'm ever actually really going to use this. But it's cool to have. Ban everyone doesn't believe in you? Yeah, true. 100 plebs ready to boost him and drop a hat? Well, it's not just that. It's that, like... So I have a way that I'm going to go from 50 to 60. And then 58 is super easy, right? Because you just do the turn ends. And uh, I can get to 52 from other stuff. Like, it, it, it's really not that big of a deal. Is leveling... Uh, is kind of leveling this? This is? This is leveling this? No, it's not. The proc rate is, like, awful. Like, this is only good in group content, I bet. Oh, I need to go take the boat. What level should we get to now? What level should we get to? I'm thinking that the level that we should get to is level 30. I think 30 or 31. I might go for 31 since I'm uh, melee. And we're going to do Razorfin Crawl, and we're going to do Nomergon. We're going to do both of those dungeons. I know DPS meter, by the way. The reason why is, like, I don't even really think it matters. I think that it gives, like, more of a authentic experience not having it. But I'll probably do DPS meter at some point. It's not like I don't... It's not like I'm against it. Are you going to get Whirlwind Axe? Yeah, I will. You probably go to RFK now. Last boss would be rough, though. I just don't like fighting bosses that are, like, red level because none of my attacks hit. I find it annoying and stupid. So I guess what we're going to do with, like, talents is I'll go to Enrage, and then I'll get Death Wish. Then... Improved Slam. I don't think that I should go with Improved Slam. Yeah, I'm just going to be dual wielding. Yeah, no. Well, I was just thinking if I was going to use a two-handed weapon, because, like, at around that point, I would have... Uh, what do you call it? I would have Whirlwind Axe, which would make Slam because it's weapon damage or make it way better. But even then, I don't think it's that good. I think we do... Uh, uh, we do Death Wish and then dual wield to four, and then Flurry to five, then Bloodthirst... And then, probably just impale as fast as we can. I might go with improved intercept. I don't know. Yeah, I'm trying to decide if I want to go with that. You should go arms? No, arms isn't that good. I think that Fury is better because it gives me health back, and so does Bloodthirst. And I just, I think Fury is just better. 
Intercept is really good. Yeah, it's literally 10 seconds on a cooldown for a charge. Improved Intercept is really fucking useful. Yeah. Like, I, I'm, I want to have a, a spec that's built for value rather than uh, just, like, this is what's going to do the highest DPS in a raid. Because, like, everybody knows what the highest DPS in a raid is. Like, it's not even a big deal. Arms is considered better for endgame DPS. Yeah, um, that's not true. So, yeah, that, that's, that's something that's not true. Uh, I don't know who said that, but, uh, yeah, just, uh, refer yourself to the, uh, the, the, uh, I, actually, who is, I'm gonna ban him. Let's ban him. 